Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to save new Telegram files to Google Drive. So I receive so many files on my Telegram group on regular basis and I want to save all these files in a specific folder of Google Drive. So basically my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new file from Telegram, automatically that same file should be uploaded in a specific folder of Google Drive. So how are we going to automate this entire process? For this, you will have to set up a connection between Telegram and Google Drive and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles trigger and action. So in trigger we are going to take telegram and in action we are going to take google drive and we will connect both of them with the help of Pabli Connect to automate this entire process and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to save Telegram files in Google Drive. So it might happen that you are receiving so many files on Telegram from your channel or group and you generally miss them because you are not able to save them somewhere properly. Therefore, I'm going to create an automation over here to save Telegram files automatically in Google Drive in specific folder. Okay, and for creating this automation, we do not require any kind of coding or programming skills. Just we have to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So basically, with the help of Pabli Connect, we are going to set up a connection between telegram and google drive okay so this is the home page of family connect where we can reach by tapping this url family.com slash connect after coming over here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now because i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in so this is all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this automation we are going to use Pabli Connect so let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard we can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that and here a dialog box will appear in front of us and we can find that it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all let us provide a name over here. Save new telegram files to Google Drive. After giving this name, here I am going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have already created a folder with a name as telegram automations. I have already selected that and now let's click on create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. So first is the trigger and the other is action. So as I told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles. So basically these two are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take telegram in our trigger and google drive in our action and our objective is that whenever we are going to receive a new file from telegram automatically that file should be uploaded in a specific folder of google drive okay. So here we can clearly find that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the file is received on telegram then only it is uploaded in a specific folder of google drive otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we have to select our trigger application for that. Now, now here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a file from a specific group of telegram, then I want to receive the response of that message in my then I want to receive the response of that message here in Pabli Connect. Okay, so with that response, the workflow should get triggered every time. Okay, so here I'm going to select telegram as my trigger application. So let's select telegram bot. And now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So set webhook or watch updates will be our trigger event over here because we want that whenever a webhook because we want to receive the response because we want that whenever we are going to receive the message on telegram the response should be captured and with that response the workflow should get triggered instantly okay now let's click on connect and now to build a new connection with telegram bot account i'm going to go with add new connection but in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that as we have selected add new connection we also have to provide a token over here now from where we are going to find that token for that we can find that the instructions are provided to us over here very clearly so we just have to follow them carefully and our work will be done. So now I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do in order to find this token. So for that first of all I'm going to take you towards telegram and now here basically we have to search for bot father. So basically with the help of bot father we are going to set up a connection between Pabli connect and telegram. So after coming on bot father here we have to send a message that is new bot okay. 
सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेंड दिस मैसेज एंड नाउ इट इज सेइंग ऑल राइट अ न्यू बॉट हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू कॉल इट प्लीज चूज अ नेम फॉर योर बॉट सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू चूज अ नेम फॉर अवर बॉट ओके सो लेट्स से आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द नेम ऑफ माई बॉट एज न्यू फाइल ओके नाउ इट इज सेइंग गुड नाउ लेट्स चूज अ यूजर नेम फॉर योर बॉट सो इट वॉज जस्ट द नेम नाउ वी हैव टू ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट अ यूजर नेम फॉर अवर बॉट एंड द यूजर नेम मस्ट एंड विद दिस अंडर स्कोर बॉट सो आई एम गोइंग टू लेट्स से गिव द यूजर नेम एज न्यू फाइल्स अंडर स्कोर बॉट Let's try, and it is saying that no, sorry, this username is already taken. So if we have to try something else for the username, let's say I'm going to give the name as new files creative team underscore bot. Let's try this, and yes, it is saying that done. Congratulations on your new bot. So this name is select. So this name is selected, and here is our token. So we will have to copy this token. We will go back towards Pabli Connect and paste it over here very quickly. Okay, so in this way you have to find that token. So basically here we are setting up a bot with Telegram so that. automatically whenever a file will be received that bot could send the message here in pabli connect okay so now let's click on save and with this we can find that telegram is successfully connected with pabli connect now when we are going to click on save and send test request button it has started showing waiting for response this means that now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured over here how we are going to do that by sending a file on our group so first of all i am going to create a group in front of you so, okay so i am going to create a new group over here Let's suppose I have an event management company and I have the creative team of my organization on Telegram. Okay, so I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new file from that group of creative team, I want to upload that same file in a specific folder of Google Drive. Now I'm going to create a group first of all. So first of all, to create the group, we have to add the members and we have to add the bot first of all, which we have recently created in that group. So the name of my bot is. So this is the name of my bot. I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to create this group basically. So I'm going to first of all give the name of my group. That will be social media team. So I'm creating this group for the social media team of my organization, and I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new file on this group, I want to receive the response in Pabli Connect for that. Okay. So I'm going to click on this arrow button, and yes, our group is created over here. So I'm going to go towards the name of this group, and here you can find that these are the members of the group. This is the host of the group that is me and this is the bot which we have created with the name as new file now in order to receive the messages from this bot in pabli connect we will first have to provide the admin access to this bot and that can be done with the help of mobile application of telegram so i'm going to first of all provide the admin access to this bot and yes here i have provided the admin access now we will go back towards pabli connect and we can find that here we have received a response so this is just a test response which we have received so we are going to click on this recapture webhook response button and now it is showing waiting for a response once again so we are going to do a test submission now how we are going to do that by going towards the group and here i am going to send an image okay so i am going to attach a file over here and that will be an image let's suppose this is a photo which i am going to send and i am going to add a caption also over here let's suppose new logo okay so i'm going to click on send and as soon as we have sent this message let's go and check whether we have received the response of this image in pabli connect or not and yes we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details of the message which we have received along with the image okay so this is the name of our group okay this is the caption which we have received along with an image and here we have also received the file id okay so this means that our connection between telegram and pabli connect is perfectly successful now whenever we are going to receive a new file on this particular group the response will be automatically captured over here now because we are going to receive so many messages on this group and we do not want this workflow to run for each and every message i only want to run this workflow when the file will be received therefore for that i'm going to apply a condition over here and for applying that condition we will have to use a filter okay so let's select our action application as filter filter is an amazing inbuilt feature by pabli which allows us to set conditions in the workflow according to our requirements so here our action event will be filter values and let's click on connect okay so now we have to provide that condition okay so i want that whenever i'm going to receive a response from telegram if that response contains the file id this is the file id which we have received then only the workflow should continue further otherwise not so because we have inserted this file id from our previous response that means we have mapped that and when we map our data from our previous step it becomes dynamic so now with each and every response it is going to be replaced so whenever we are going to receive a new message on our telegram group automatically the label is going to be replaced and here i'm going to select the filter type that Will be exist. So if the file ID will exist, then the workflow will continue. Otherwise, not. Now, when we have selected this condition, let's check this condition whether it is true or not. Let's click on Save and Send Test Request button, and here we can find that our condition is absolutely true because we have already received the file with the file ID. So when we have received the file ID, let's move forward. Now, in order to upload this file on Google Drive, first of all, I'm going to create a folder over here. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and here I'm going to click on New button to create a new folder. and i'm going to give the new folder as 
so this is the name of my folder social media team okay and i'm going to add files also over here social media team files now i'm going to click on create and i want and i want that whenever i'm going to receive a new file from the telegram group of my social media team i want to upload the file over here in this particular folder now in order to upload the file we will first have to get the file details that means the url of that file and in the response of telegram you can find that we have not received the file url okay so with the help of url we have to upload that file in google drive and we have not received that so we have to get that okay so let's click on this add action step button and for getting the file id we have to add one more action step over here that will be telegram once again so let's select telegram bot okay and now we have to select the action event so our action event over here will be get file okay so with the help of this action event we are going to get the file url that we are going to upload in google drive let's click on connect now because we have already built the connection with telegram bot account so i'm going to go with existing connection only we will click on save and as we have done that we can find that telegram is once again successfully connected with babbly connect we have to enter the file id over here that we have already received from our earlier response and when we are going to do that we are going to receive a file path okay so with the help of that file path we are going to create the url okay so now first of all let us enter the file id and here we have to keep in mind that we have to enter the file id in the dynamic format that means it must get changed with each and every response okay so for that we have to map the data so mapping is inserting data from previous step as i've already told you this is our previous step when we will select that this is the file id i'm going to select that and it is mapped when we have mapped this file id it is going to now replace with each and every new response and in this way we are going to upload each and every file which we are going to receive from telegram to our google drive folder okay now let's click on save and send test request button and as we have done that we can find that in the response we have received the file path now we are going to use this file path and we are going to get the file url okay so let's click on this add action step button once again and now finally to upload the file in google drive we have to select google drive in our action application so let's select that and you will select the action event as well and here our action event will be to upload a file that let's select this event and let's click on connect now because i've already built a connection with my google drive account so currently i'm going to select existing connection but to create a new connection you have to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on sign in with google once you will click on save your connection will be successful so let me click on save over here and my connection with google drive is successful so now we have to move forward here first of all it is asking us to enter the url so as i've already told you that we have to create the url manually with the help of the response which we have received from telegram bot earlier so i'm going to once again select the telegram bot action step and here i'm going to copy the link which is given over here it is given over here in the instructions that the file can be downloaded by a link this is given over here in which we have to enter the file path which we have received from this response and we also have to enter the token which we have received from telegram bot so first of all i'm going to copy this url and we'll move back and paste it over here in the url field now in the place of this token we have to enter the token which we have generated from bot father of telegram so we will go back towards bot father this is the token let's copy that we will move back and paste it over here done after entering the token now here we have to enter the file path as well so we will simply map the file path because we have already received it from earlier response this is the file path we have mapped it and now the url of the file is successfully created okay so this will be the url and because we have mapped the file path over here in this field so it is going to be replaced each time and in this way automatically the url will be generated for each and every file okay now let's move forward here we have to enter the folder id the id of the folder in which we want to save this file so this is my folder which i have already created i'm going to open this folder and in this folder when we are going to look towards the url this is the folder id let's copy this we will move back and paste it over here okay now the next is the file name so what should be the name of the file i'm going to give the name of the file as the caption which i have received along with this image from telegram so this is the caption which we have received new logo i'm going to map that and done now let's click on save and send test request button and as we have done that we can find that we have received the response over here and in the response it is given that the status is success that means the file is successfully uploaded in our folder of google drive so let's go and check and yes here we can find that the file is uploaded i'm going to open this file and this is the same image which we have received on our telegram group okay so now when we have successfully built the connection between telegram and google drive let's check this workflow whether it is running fine or not i'm going to once again send another image over here so this is the image and this is the caption i'm going to click on send 
And as we have sent this image on our social media team group on Telegram, let's go and check on Google Drive whether this image is automatically uploaded in a specific folder along with this name or not. And yes, here we can find that automatically the file is uploaded over here. I'm going to open it and this is the file. Okay, so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and it is running perfectly fine. So let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken very simple steps, trigger and actions. In trigger, we have taken Telegram bot and in action, we have taken filter by Pabli, Telegram bot and Google Drive and we have connected all of them with the help of Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new file from our Telegram group, automatically that file will be uploaded in a specific folder of Google Drive. Okay, so you can very easily create the same automation by following the same steps which I have told you in the video and it will take just few minutes of yours and your work will be done in such a way without any coding or programming skills that whenever you are going to receive a new file now on your Telegram group, it will be uploaded automatically on Google Drive. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.